George was returning home after a long day at work. He was walking through the park when somebody pushed him. He woke up in a well. The walls were too slippery to climb out of it, and he couldn't reach the bucket. Luckily, the guy found the solution. Can you guess how George escaped? He took off his shoes and threw them back into the bucket. The added weight brought the bucket down, and George used it to climb out of the well and escape. An old king doesn't have an heir, but he still has to choose a successor to take care of the country. So, he gathered all young men and women in his kingdom and gave each of them a seed. The person who will grow the largest plant will inherit the throne, he said. Three months later, all the participants came back to the palace to show their plants. After the king looked at them, he chose a young lady with an empty pot. Why did he pick her? The king gave the participants fake seeds. The woman was the only honest person who didn't try to cheat. Mr. Tyler is a college professor. He teaches history, and his students like his classes very much. But one day, they decided to surprise Mr. Tyler and put on mummy costumes before his class. When Mr. Tyler saw them, he yells and runs away. Why? This guy over there is a real mummy. He's levitating and there's flies around him. Can you guess the word by these emojis? It's iPhone. What about this combination? It's airline. And what about these emojis? That's a coffee break. Let's try another one. It's bad luck. What about this combination? A starfish. What about these emojis? Cornbread. How about these two emojis? Right, that's sunlight. Let's try another one. Sunglasses. Can you find a snowman among these pandas? Here it is. Can you find a rabbit among all these cats? This little guy over here. Jennifer had an epic quarrel with her best friend Alice and decided to go hiking without her. After a long walk, she chose a place to settle down for the night. The next morning, she got out of the tent and found out that all her food supplies were gone. Take a look at the picture. Can you guess who stole the food? Although there are hair footprints all over the ground, these animals are too small to untie and carry away such a large bag of food. Alice followed Jennifer to prank her, but she forgot her hairband at the crime scene. Can you find the odd emoji? Here it is. Peter and Wendy had a picnic in a beautiful park. Suddenly, it started raining and they hid in their car. That's when Wendy noticed she had left her phone outside. Peter returned to the picnic spot but found no phone. Luckily, the thief couldn't get far. So, Peter entered the nearest cafe to check the customers. He saw three people inside. The guy immediately figured out who had taken the phone. Can you guess who the thief is? It's the second guy. He's the only one with wet hair and clothes. Some weird loud sounds woke Emily in the middle of the night. She ran to her roommate's bedrooms to check on them. Both Mia and Sam were sound asleep. In the morning, Emily found out that their house had been robbed. Mia said that she'd been sleeping and hadn't heard anything suspicious. 
Sam said that he had returned from a party very late and had fallen asleep immediately. Can you guess what happened? The robber entered the house through Sam's window and pretended to be Sam when Emily came to check on her roommate. And the real Sam returned from the party way later that night. Can you find a four-leaf clover in this pattern? Here it is. Peter got tired of big city life and moved to a quiet village. He opened a small coffee shop. His place gained popularity among local farmers and tourists very quickly. But one night, someone broke into the coffee shop and robbed it. Peter interrogated four suspects. Dylan said he'd been out of the city that night. Leia had been cleaning her room all night. Vanessa said she'd been rehearsing a dance for the upcoming New Year's performance. And Jason had been taking care of his cattle. Who's lying? Vanessa, look at these blooming flowers in the field. It's summertime. It's too early for New Year's rehearsals. A man was doing some repairs and accidentally fell from the roof of a 12-story building. He was not wearing a parachute, but he still survived the fall. How? He landed on a balcony on the 11th floor. Can you find the odd emoji? Something is wrong with this guy's teeth. Harry woke up in a creepy abandoned hospital. He searched the area and only found an old cart. He went further and saw four doors, but there were dangers lurking behind each of these doors. Angry werewolves were waiting behind the first one. The floor behind the second door was all covered with toxic acid. There was a wicked witch behind the third door, and there was a fire blazing behind the fourth door. What should Harry do? Harry should choose the second door and use the cart to get to safety. Can you find the odd fish? Here it is. On his birthday, Jason invited three friends on a hiking trip. They found a beautiful wild beach and decided to stay there for the night. In an hour, one of Jason's friends disappeared. They separated to search for him, and the other two friends also vanished. Can you guess what happened? Jason's friends decided to prank him. They're waiting for him with a birthday cake on a boat. Mary had just returned from a two-day business trip. She's starving, so she rushes to the kitchen. She opens the fridge to get some snacks. Can you help Mary throw away spoiled food? This apple has gone bad. There are three sticks. Can you make four out of them without breaking any stick? Here you go. Vicky got on a bus. But suddenly, she ran out screaming, There's a zombie in there! Who is a zombie? It's the driver. Take a look at his arm. Fred is a fitness coach. He bought a pack of peanut butter cookies on the way to his office. He couldn't eat them inside the building since his boss, Mia, had a really bad peanut allergy. Plus, his current clients were on a sugar-free diet for a week. So, Fred took a couple of bites and hid the remaining cookies in his locker. When Fred opened the pack during the next break, it was empty. He questioned the clients. Chris said he'd been talking to his mother. Pam went out to get some fresh air. Jason helped Mia serve peanut butter sandwiches and coffee. And Kelly was busy eating her fruit salad. Who's lying? Jason. Mia has a peanut allergy. She wouldn't have come close to peanut butter sandwiches. Can you find a panda among these people? It's over there. Miss Green recently got the job of a college teacher. She decided to start her first class with a small test. The woman watched her students during the test very attentively and noticed that three of them were cheating. Who?
look at this guy's knee. And this young lady is holding a book under her desk. And this young man over here has a bottle with the answers written on it. Kelly was walking alone in the forest. She found a picturesque spot and began to record a dance for her TikTok. But suddenly, she fell into a cave. Kelly looked around and noticed four doors. There were hungry lions behind the first door. Venomous insects were hiding behind the second door. Behind the third door, there was a tunnel that was on fire. And there were live wires behind the fourth door. Which way is safe? The fourth door is the safest. There's enough space for Kelly to crawl under the wires. Someone robbed a bank last night. Its manager doesn't want the clients to know about it. So he hasn't told any details to the press yet. The police have found three suspects. All of them have been previously accused of similar robberies. The police officer asked, What were you doing when the robbery happened? Stacy claimed she'd gone to bed at 11 p.m. Dan said, I was bowling with my friends between 1 and 2 a.m. Ryan said he had spent the whole night in a hospital with his granny. Who robbed the bank? It was Dan. The police officer didn't mention when exactly the robbery had happened. Then how did he know it? Can you figure out who this dog belongs to? The dog's owner is the woman in the middle. She's the only one who's not trying to pet the dog. What is the sum of these numbers? Four plus 17 plus 13 equals 34. Gemma decided to follow her dreams and move to a cute house in a small village. She found several boxes in the basement and organized a garage sale to sell that stuff. Gemma put up an ad, everything for one dollar. Leah bought an old chess set, Peter purchased a mirror, and Daniel bought an old jewelry box. When they left, Gemma's neighbor came over and told her that she'd made a mistake. She had just sold a very expensive thing for a song. What item did she mean? Not the chess set because it's made of plastic and not the mirror because it's cracked. She meant the jewelry box. Look at how Daniel is carrying it. The thing's heavy and probably filled with expensive stuff.